How in the bloody hell are you all? I hope extremely well. So, uh, let's just keep going with this. Just go. Oh. Back. Oh. New York Police, please open the door. Uh. Hey, what's that? Stay where you are and put your hands in the I've air. done all that already. I put those These images in my head. I must be losing my mind. All right, so um, uh, computer. All right, so check this. Let's see. Video games not up new victims. Investigation into the carnage at the Chicago High School has made significant progress over the last few days. Several dozen violent video games were found in the room of two adolescent killers. The investigators are in doubt. So no doubt about the link with the killings. These video games are extremely violent, easily influenced adolescents try to reproduce the same scenes in real life. A policeman is reported to have said. Several associate association you know, associations have already announced they are going to demand a law forbidding video games for players under the age of 18. The responsibility of the arms dealer who sold them the weapons is not in question. The problem is not the availability of weapons, declared the spokesman for the National Gun Owners Synd Syndicate? I thought it was association. Every American citizen has the right to buy and bear arm uh, firearms. The real problem is those video should be are those video games. They are a veritable threat to our youth. More snow, a massive cold uh, air coming from down from Canada will cause a new drop in temperatures all over the country. Further snowfalls are expected in particularly abundant quantities in the east and centre of the country over the next 48 hours with depths up to 8 inches on the east coast. The cold air should spread progressively to the centre and west of the country accompanied by winds, uh, sorry, high winds and scattered hailstorm showers. Uh, frost may be expected to appear during the night. Drivers are asked to be particularly careful. Pakistan, the ultimatum ends today. The ultimatum delivered to the new Pakistani government ends today at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Yesterday, in uh, Islamabad, the new president announced a to a crowd of more than 200,000 people that he has no intention of standing down. He again Accuse the American government of trying to acquire control of oil fields recently discovered in the region of Gilgit in the northern part of the country. John Ackerman, the American president, highlighted the importance of democratic regime in Pakistan. The interests of the American security. American troops are on standby at the frontier and Five aircraft carriers have been stationed off the coast of Pakistan for several weeks. He announced that he is determined not to let atomic weapons fall into the hands of fundamentalists. Okay. So what happened there? I, don't know, I saw his thing pop up for a second. Uh, check my box. No messages. Okay. So. It's a crazy, crazy world. Always has been. New York police, please open the door. The police, they know. They, they've come to arrest me. No, they haven't. Settle down. We've already sorted this situation out. Police, open up. Hang Just on. a minute, I'm coming. Uh, I can't let them find any evidence linking me to last night. There is no evidence. Got a couple seconds to hide everything before I get the door. I've already done it all. Sir, this is the New York police. Uh, I must insist that you open this door immediately. Shut up. Oh, uh, that was weird. I I'm sorry to make you wait like that. I, I was in the shower. Are you Lucas Kane? Yes. Mr. Kane, the neighbors heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? Uh. Yeah, it was me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was me. I cut myself on some broken glass, and I freaked out a little. 
Fortunately, it wasn't a really big deal. Would it be all right if I took a little look around your apartment? No. Ah, uh, sure. <sighs> Whatever. Go ahead. I mean, if he said no, he would still insist in coming anyway and be more suspicious, so... What happened to your wrist, sir? I told you, I cut myself, you idiot. I told you, I had a stupid accident with some broken glass. Holy cow. When you cut yourself, you go all the way, don't you? Don't we all? There's nothing wrong here. Don't go in there, there's a body in there. I've just, uh, uh, uh. Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, sorry to have bothered you, sir. You know uh -huh. how it is. With everything that's been going on, uh, we prefer to be careful. I understand. Long, I Mr. Kane. Well, at least he feels a bit better. It's going to be hard to actually record this in sessions. Because, oh wait, is that something under my door? Uh, what is that? Massacre in East End Restaurant. An especially horrible murder was committed last night in the restroom of a local restaurant. The killer is a man in his 30s of average height with brown hair. Police are already searching for the man and will be releasing a composite sketch in the next few days. Oh, I can actually read that on the thing there, huh? Um, I don't want to go out just yet. I think there's medicine around here somewhere. I'll, I'll show you the music. I'm not going to play it. But, like, you got Theory of a Dead Man, Theory of a Dead Man, Theory of a Dead Man. I thought there was more than that. But uh, I'm not. I'm not pushing that. So <laughs> forget that. Um, I don't want to do that right now. Let's hit the bunch box. Back. I'm in no condition. Oh. My forearm still hurt. Oh, okay. All right. Um, is that medicine on the table there? No. Let's see what the TV says. The body of a man was discovered in the restroom of an East End restaurant. The victim was stabbed several times with a steak knife. While just yards away, other customers were calmly eating their meals. Investigators are already on the trail of a suspect who fled the scene just before the body was discovered. Police have no other comment for the time being, but stay tuned for updates into this. Oh, God damn it! I just put him in the bad situation. Look at that fridge glue just in the back. The victim was stabbed several times with a stick. Oh no. Did I do bad? I don't remember this. Okay, so he's a little stressed, that's fine. This is not suicidal yet. Alright, um, I saw the crow outside. Let's see if Brendan Lee is out there. You hear about that? They, they want to remake Brendan Lee's The Crow with the guy who played uh, Pennywise. That's ridiculous. I don't care how good of a potential actor this Pennywise uh, uh, actor is. Oh, there's another bonus tent there. Awesome. Um, I don't care how good this actor is. Uh, the one thing they should never, ever touch as a movie to be remade is The Crow. I know for a fact that the, um, Brandon Lee was apparently meant to remake his dad's movie, one of his dad's movies, before he died. And, uh, I guess that's, uh, right, so the park or Carla. Let's go to the park, and then we'll probably, um, hopefully 
be done with that and deal with Carla the next time When around. Marcus and I were kids, we were inseparable. He's the one who took care of me after our parents died. We kind of grew apart after he became a priest. But he's still the only person I really trust. There he is. I'm happy to see you. I missed you. It's been a while. Two years. So tell me what's happened, Lucas. I've killed a man, Marcus. It happened at a restaurant last night. It's like I was possessed in a sort of trance, like I was a puppet on a string. I saw what I was doing, but I was powerless to stop it. My God. I can't believe this, Lucas. Tell me that it wasn't you. You're not capable of something like that. Uh, details. This murder. I exactly how did it happen? Well, after work last night, I stopped at a little diner to get something to eat. I read a book at my table, I think. And after, it's just a black hole. I don't remember anything. Right up until I found myself in the toilets with a knife in my hand. It, it, was, it was horrible. Uh, your wrists. And there's this, too. You cut your wrists? Before the murder, I, I carved these symbols on my arms with a knife. I don't know if they mean anything. Uh, uh, witnesses. Were there any witnesses? Did anyone see you? Probably. I got out of the restaurant as best I could. The police still haven't identified me, apparently, but it probably won't take them too long to track me down. Uh, who else have you told all of this to? No one. You're the only person that I can trust. Uh, visions. While I was doing this horrible thing, I saw something, or... Or rather, someone. Was somebody else there with you? No, it was it was like a sort of vision. I saw a man in the middle of hundreds of candles. And, and there was this little girl. Uh, little girl. You saw a little girl? She seemed alone, lost. She, she asked me to help her. What happened to me, Marcus? What am I supposed to do now? You know me better than anyone, Marcus. Help me. Listen, Lucas, I... I'm a bit lost here. This whole story is just so bizarre. Uh, sick. Maybe you need some professional help. Most cases of possession are known to actually stem from psychiatric problems and... Marcus, I don't have a psychiatric problem. I'm not crazy. I am a priest, Lucas. The fact that you have taken a life is a very serious matter. I told you that it wasn't me, Marcus. All these years and nothing's changed. You still never listen to me. Lucas, don't ask me to make a choice between my faith and my brother. Uh, commits. I'm not a murderer, Marcus. You're the only person I can trust. I'm just asking you to believe me. Very well. I'll do whatever I can for you, but I can't do anything that goes against my beliefs. Look, I, I need to get some answers. I'll, I'll call you. Here. You need this more than I do. Marcus, you know that I don't believe in all that. Uh, normally if it was me, I wouldn't take it, but for the game... Yep. Thanks. If you take the cross, it gives you another uh, life in the game. But if you don't take it, you only get the extra life. Those little circles that came up are your lives. Alright, Remember how to do this problem. Not sure. He's gonna slip on the ice. I've gotta stop him. The cop in the restaurant. Something, the child will die. If I do do something, the cop will recognize me. What am I gonna do? Go. Ah. There he uh, is. Well, he's lost consciousness. Quick, I've got to go back up before I run out of air. Oh, that's so, that is really nauseating. That water effect. 
Uh, Uh, oh, cool. Alright. Come on. Alright, get up. I think we gotta deal with this. Uh, get down. Uh, do compressions. One, two, three. Uh. One, two, three. One. Ah! There we go. Alright, we've done good. We're back to neutral. Patrol 324. Kid just fell into the water. Send an ambulance right away. Man, what courage. The kid would have died. That guy's a hero. He dove into freezing water to save the kid. The kid never would have made it out of there without him. The cop recognized me. We both knew it. It's hard to say why he didn't turn me in. Maybe he decided I was evil. I had taken a life, given one back. Nothing really changed for me, I was still wanted for murder by the police. But when I left that park, I knew I could look myself in the mirror again without cringing. But the cop never released saw our face because we didn't go out the front door, that's why I took the back door. I've got this really bad habit for a cop. Once I start working on a case, I can't think about anything else. I'm exhausted. I haven't gotten a wink of sleep all night. Something's bothering me about this murder, but I just can't seem to put my finger on what it is. Alright, so let's have a look around the police station. Oh, come on. Can I talk to you? You're under arrest. Carla Valenti. Freeze. Hi, Carla. How you doing today? Hi, Doug. Not too bad. Is Tyler here yet? No, not that I know of. So, ready for that big retirement? Eh, working on it. <laughs> nice. Alright, uh, um, there's a card around here somewhere, if I remember right. Yeah, it's not right here. Oop. Okay. Can I go down this way? Door leading to the basement. I have no business down there right now. Okay. I'm sure there's a card around. There it is. Where am I? The hell? These points you can use later on uh, to bo buy bonus things. Uh, let's go this way. Is there anything back this way? No, it's all... Is that ribboned off as well? Yeah, okay. That's fine. Alright. Tyler is still not here. I'd better try to give him a ring. my office. Oh, it's straight ahead. Okay. If I can, uh... There we go. Hey, Carla. Can you tell your partner to pay me back that hundred bucks he owes me? I've been waiting six months for it now. Can't help you there, Jeffrey. Talk to him about it. He's been avoiding me like the plague. Plus, you know, you're the only one he listens to. Catch you later, Jeffrey. All right. Let's go in. Hi, Carla. Hi, Garrett. Oh, wait, Carla. I got some results back on the tests we did for that restaurant murder. Great. As soon as Tyler gets here, we'll come and see you. Okay. I'll be at my desk all morning. You gotta admit, the graphics are actually not too bad that they've updated. I think they've updated them. I got the PS2 version here as well, but um, it's a bit scratched up, so we'll have to get it cleaned, unfortunately. Um, let's check the f can I check the phone? Nope. Let's get a drink of water, because honestly... Whew! 
need it. Well, it's not water, vodka. Alright, so we've done that. Um, yeah, sit down. Take a load off. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Check the drawer. Ah, uh, take the card. All points. And close the drawer. <laughs> um, computer. Let's have a look. Uh, my map. Valium. Nah, we don't need Valium. Ah. Hi. Subject, hi. Hi, Carla. I'm sorry it wasn't able to give you any news for a while. I've been very busy with my job. I'll drop you by your place as soon as I can to tell you about my latest adventures. Lots of kisses, Tommy. The, um, the lettering's a little bit too close together. It's all happened before. Kirsten. Kirsten. What's that supposed to mean? So, um, uh, Donatello embarrassed for... Uh, the rise of crime has been a serious handicap for Mayor Marco Donatello uh, in the race to invest to... The race... The race to invest to a... Uh, I can't really pronounce that. In the le last two years, uh, crime rates in New York have risen by 15%, the highest figures in the last 30 years. In a press uh, conference yesterday, Marco Donatello pointed out that a similar rise had taken place in all the major cities of the country and that it was caused by increasing social inequality. However, the mayor promises that the results of his security policy would, not, uh, would be noticeable before the end of his mandate. Uh, with less than three months before the elections, voters will soon be able to decide whether Donatello's policies are capable of solving New York's insecurity problems. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we already read that. And we already read that. Let's check the database. Uh, Classified file. So, it's a name associated with a case. Huh. Too bad. I would have liked to find out more. Okay. Um. Okay, we can only do that one. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, that's the end of the video. Have a good day, we are. Stay cool, stay chill, stay safe, and be awesome, and thank you for watching. See you guys later. Bye.